Just a little bit more than an hour north of Miami, Palm Beach is the South's epicenter of excellence. Consider your potential neighbors, Tiger Woods, the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus, John Bon Jovi, Jimmy Buffett, and even the former president himself, Donald J. Trump. Mar-a-Lago's just a few minutes away. Our first listing is in one of the area's most exclusive communities. Did you ever think to yourself, I would love an Italian villa, maybe one you'd find on Lake Como? We've brought it stateside in Manalapan, Florida. The address, 1160 South Ocean Boulevard. Sitting on a 160 foot wide strip of coastal paradise, it's got seven bedrooms, nine baths, and 20,075 square feet of living and entertaining space. There's a tennis court, pool, and putting green, all on 1.7 oceanfront acres. 1160 South Oceans listed at $29.5 million. Holly Meyer Lucas, this is your listing. Um, Manalapan, who lives here? Oh, can't tell you that, but it's Give me one. Is, it's a, well, very publicly, Tony Robbins lives here. Billy Joel lives here. It is, wow. the reason people live here though is it is a, it is an exclusive who's who of residents who keeps themselves and, um, and just really live close to Palm Beach so they can participate in Palm Beach, but far enough away where they don't have to live in the hustle and bustle. You know, we're several miles from Mar-a-Lago here, mm -hmm. so Manalapan has always been this little best kept secret, even though it's not really a secret. Tell me about the drive-in. So this home is directly on the sand and you get that feeling of exclusivity the second you pull in the property, right? The gates open up and it is this palatial entrance. You go through the, what seems like the front door and you actually walk into an atrium and an outdoor courtyard. Sweeping staircase leads you up to the outdoor courtyard up top, similar to an Italian palazzo. This is one of 30 homes that has both the beach in your front yard and the intercoastal, so you can keep a 100-foot yacht if you want in your backyard. That's it's crazy. extremely, extremely unique and so desirable for South Florida. You can have the best of both worlds, really. What are most of the materials that we're seeing here? So it has two specific things that you're not allowed to really build with anymore. So the Peggy Cypress accents throughout. Uh, Peggy Cypress is a wood that's indigenous to Florida. Is that and, on the, um, right in the atrium when you walk in? It is, yeah, okay. in the atrium, the whole ceiling. I mean, the whole home has Peggy Cypress accents, which are just absolutely incredible. The furniture, the decor, mm -hmm. does that come with the home? Is that included in the price or is it negotiable? Furniture is always negotiable. <laughs> it's absolutely negotiable. The owners would love to leave the property turnkey and as is. Um, so for the right price, they'd absolutely include it. Those front doors or gates are calling my name. Check this out. So beautiful, so unique. Tumbled coral. You can't get this stuff anymore. You cannot, can't build with it. Look, it goes all the way up here along this gate, this grand entrance. I mean, they're like giant gates, right? Come on, look at these doors. Royalty probably resides here. This is not your everyday run-of-the-mill front entrance. Those gates open to an atrium, a staircase, and a central courtyard. Oh my God. This isn't even the entrance to the house. This is like the entrance to the entrance to the house. You have this atrium set up with this gorgeous, glamorous, I don't even know. I mean, literally, this is what I would be coronated on if I was a queen. I would come down these steps. I think it's actually maybe where Princess Diaries was filmed. Corinthian columns with what looks like a marble, marble blocks all the way up. And then you have these buttresses and pecky cypress, which is indigenous to this area in Florida. You cannot build with that anymore either. It looks weathered, but is definitely going to hold up in this humidity. I'm getting pulled up the stairs, onward. So regal. I know this is Italian villa inspired, but I get like Spanish monastery, maybe an English castle. And then back into this fabulous, I'm gonna call it a runway. That's what I'm gonna go with. Ta-da, there you go. You finally get to see the courtyard. So you have the fountain anchoring it in the middle and then all of these Corinthian columns. 
I do remember that from sixth grade. It makes a U shape as you come up and perfectly frames the house. I was thinking, you come into a home, maybe you're here for a party and you're like, where should I take my picture so that I get lots of likes on Instagram? Anywhere, literally anywhere in this courtyard, you would not get a bad picture. You could take a photo anywhere in here. We still haven't even gone inside the home and it would be perfect. You have the perfect background. Again, the Corinthian columns. Think about this courtyard. You have guests staying here. They just mosey out. Maybe you have the bartender here, some past hors d'oeuvres, that fountain anchoring this area. It's the centerpiece. It's almost like a chandelier of water, right? This can be so transitional. I mean, literally, you could do whatever it is you want. Your guests coming up these stairs to this space is something truly special and unlike anything they would ever attend. I mean, this is the party of a lifetime. I already know. You know an estate's huge when it's seven minutes into the episode of Mansion Global and we still haven't made it inside. You'll want to stick around to see what this salon connects to.